Okay, uh, in this problem, we're going to set up uh, an optimization problem using the big M method. So we have this optimization problem maximize z, which is some function of x1 and x2. It doesn't matter because we're not going to solve. Subject to these constraints, x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 2, 2x1 two plus x2 less than or equal to 3, and x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 1. And so I've graphed the feasible region here. It's this blue region. Um, and uh, the issue is that we can't run the simplex algorithm like normal because we normally start at the origin uh, and then run our simplex algorithm. And you can see here the origin is not in this feasible region because of this constraint x1 plus x2 has to be greater than or equal to 1. Um, so we're going to uh, get around this problem by, by using the big M method. So let's um, introduce our slack variables like normal and we'll see where we, um, where we use the big M method down here. Okay, so to um, set up this problem so that we can run the simplex algorithm, we would introduce our slack variable. So we want to maximize this same function, z is f of x1, x2, subject to the constraints, uh, x1 plus x2. And now we'll add in this slack variable, x3. Is equal to 2. 2x1 two plus x2, we'll add in this slack variable, x4 is equal to 3. And x1 plus x2, and we'll add in this slack variable, uh, minus x5, since this is a greater than or equal to equality, inequality, uh, is equal to 1. And x1 through x5 should be greater than or equal to 0. I should say x1 and x2 should be greater than or equal to 0 here. And now we're still in trouble because we still don't have um, an easy point to start with in the feasible region. So still, if we set x1 and x2 equal to 0, then x3 and x4 are solved for, but then x5 has to be negative. Um, and this is not good. We want all of our variables to be non-negative all of the time. So we're going to introduce uh, a new variable. I'll call it x6 bar. And um, what we want is that in the end, we want this variable to be 0. So we'll add a big penalty here if this variable is ever non-zero. So we'll require that this is non-negative as well. And so what's happening here is we're taking our feasible region and we're enlarging it so that uh, the origin is in the feasible region. So we're enlarging the feasible region so that the origin is in it, but we're setting up the objective function so that anytime we're at a point in this red shaded region that's not in the actual feasible region uh, will introduce this big penalty to our objective function. So what's happening is we're setting up a slightly different optimization problem because we're enlarging the feasible region, but it's set up in such a way such that whenever this objective function is maximized, it will be equal to the original objective function and we will be in the actual feasible region. So at this point, we can go ahead and run our simplex algorithm like normal. 